Welcome back. You know, after nearly a year and a half, the Urban Institute for Contemporary Arts, the UICA, is reopening its doors to the public, this time at a new address. Executive Director Miranda Krasniak joins us this morning, along with the Director of Tutorial, uh, which is Michelle Bosak. We'll get her here in a moment. First, Miranda, good morning. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. Can you tell us about this new location? I mean, when I think UICA, I automatically think of that, <laughs> that corner location, uh, iconic in my mind, but now you've moved to uh, Pearl Street, right? Yeah, so in the 44 years of UICA's history, we've had six buildings. So this is number six, and this building should be familiar to many people in Grand Rapids. It was the old post office, the federal building, the Grand Rapids Art Museum. Um, most recently, it was the Kendall College of Art and Design Galleries, and now it's the UICA, 17 Pearl. <laughs> so moving, obviously, you've, you've done this before a few times, right? So people <laughs> and people follow wherever you go. Talk about memberships and admission and what things are going to look like at the new place. So things are all new. We've had a year and a half to really think about what we do in the community and who we serve. And so we have decided to go forward with free admission for the whole community. So you can come and go as you please. Uh, you will not be charged. We'll just grab your zip code and give you a sticker and you're on your way. And we've also decided to go with a free membership program. We do not want someone's finances to prevent them from having experiences with contemporary art. So it's a whole new world for us. Wow, so absolutely free uh, to walk into the UICA. That's wonderful. Hey, let's bring Michelle in here and talk about what we're gonna be seeing at the UICA. I know that you have a new exhibition, Other World. Michelle, welcome to the program. Thank you. Yeah, so right now for our opening on Thursday, we have three exhibitions that will open in the interior of the galleries. Um, we have one that's a group exhibition that focuses on um, uh, queer identities, um, identities of trans and folks of PO who are POC, um, thinking about how um, within um, I guess uh, alternate stories and futures that these artists are creating on their own terms. Another one that we have is whereabouts, which is looking at the site specific nature of our building. We have a lot of social spaces within our space. So um, uh, installations and site specific works that really engage our architecture um, and the furniture and the space around it. And then the last one that we have is a smaller group exhibition with three artists that are focusing more on their creative practices. These are artists that are a little more, uh, they're further in their careers and they're taking the time to look at how they're processing and experiencing and moving through this world during this past year and a half. Michelle, thank you so much for the information on those three exhibits and much more happening. A uh, side note, uh, if people are looking for a Zoom background, can we use yours? Because I don't know if that's your actual office, but that's actually gorgeous. I don't know if you're seeing this, Leanne. Uh, <laughs> that might be something you want. It is my office. Yeah, that's your office. Complete with nothing. amazing furniture and artwork. <laughs> wow, of course you would from the Urban Institute for Contemporary Arts. Hey, talk about, the, you have a gift, a gift shop too. I mean, there's things that you can, we can shop UICA, can't we? We can shop UICA, so we are relaunching our gift shop. We will have art supplies soon. We will have local goods from makers, candles, artworks, um, a really reinvigorated and rethought of shop for the community. Love it. So let's talk about this uh, celebration, this grand reopening. When can we attend? Is it in September? Is that what I'm hearing? So our soft opening is this Thursday. It right. truly is soft. We're still getting things together. We had to rehire an entire frontline staff and we are still putting the pieces together this summer. Um, so please come visit us, come say hi. But the grand reopening will be September 9th and that's when we'll actually get to throw a party, which we're very excited about. My goodness, well, uh, so many people have been hankering to get to your place. I'm sure you'll have a lot of people before that grand opening in September because the soft reopening, as you just heard, happening this week. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you, Miranda, for the great information. Don't forget, 17 Pearl Street Northwest, downtown Grand Rapids, this Thursday, July 15th, from noon to 7, absolutely free to go check out the new digs. You can get information at UICA.org.